business, which keeps me entertaining you. So Yeah, and brings schmucks like me around so that you can laugh at him for a while. I love it. <laughs> All right. So let's do this. Let's jump into a two-man. I should probably make sure that I've saved this deck. I agree. I want to be playing with this deck, not some crappy other version that I may or may not have built myself. <laughs> <laughs> Truth. <laughs> Save. Oh man! Ah, oh, happy to have bonfire in the sideboard. I'm not gonna lie. I'm that really card's excited. so good. I'm really, really <sighs> excited. And when does the entertaining stuff. start? When still? All right. Here we go. All right. Let's give it to him. Yeah. Now we need to turn on some tunes, though. We've had Let's this on for a while. We're gonna. Oh turn on boy, some howdy! Tunes. Would we like to play first with rolling a three? Woo! That is just. <laughs> You know what? We're just going to play... Yeah. We're going to play the new Daft Palk album. And if you don't like it, suck it. All right. I would like to play first. What do we got? Well, we yeah. have two Thundermaw Helikites. And no white mana. We have no white mana. And our early spells require white. So... Like, I got to ship this hand. I don't want to, but I do Yeah. It, this, is, this is one of those that's close... As we have two draw steps, really, to hit a white. Uh, but there are, what, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 white sources in the deck. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, it's probably right to ship this here. Because uh, if we draw a Pilgrim on the first turn, that's good. But if we draw an Arbor Elf, it still sucks. So, yeah, I don't. I hate it. I hate having to mulligan 2-drop, 3-drop. Oh, okay, yeah. so we gotta yeah. keep this hand because we. Oh do. yeah. I mean, the forest is obnoxious, but at least we get to cast voice. Yeah. And maybe, maybe we won't even have to play the forest until after the reckoner. Maybe we'll get lucky and rattle off a couple lands. All right. But we got the voice. We got an early play, so that's solid. Voice is good against actual everything. I thought I had well, my except, guru except forest in here. Uh, Sorry, guys. Bonk. I guess the, the voice isn't isn't good against like reanimator. I suppose that's the only matchup where he's not good. Yeah. Let's see. So chat, you guys got any questions early about the deck? About what's going on? Voice is also not good versus pillar. <laughs> yeah, but he's good against every other spell in a pillar deck. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh no, Spike Mo, don't leave. He's leaving because of this forest. God damn it. All right, fine. Fine! <laughs> Gonna fix it. Gonna fix it for next time. <laughs> yeah. Show me all my forests. Oh, start. Like, it should have started 45 minutes ago. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that guru's a lot better. That's a much better card. If we have to run a forest, it might as well be the best forest it ever. It will. It will. So next one, that's just what we're going to deal with. Sorry, guys. Well. All right. So planes pass. Uh, that's not what we wanted, but let's get a let's get him out there. So what's planes pass? What the hell is this guy playing? Um, I don't know. Maybe a brew. Um, might be the one planes in a Naya deck with uh, uh, Bordeaux Rangers. It could be uh, the green-white beatdown deck that we saw uh, top eight Star City a few weeks ago. Mm. If it's a beatdown deck, we got a pretty good hand. We just need, you know, lands to cast our spells. <laughs> we do need two more lands to cast our spells. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would take a mana dork. Right. Well, I'd take, I'd take a pilgrim right now. Yeah. <laughs> Arbor elf, mostly unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> Arbor Elf makes two green mana that we cannot use to cast Boros Dreckner. No bueno. And that's why I only want to run one of that card. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you're running two, you basically have to forego the Gowany Township and play an extra forest. Yeah. Which is really obnoxious. Because then you play more mana guys, and that's just obnoxious. Uh. Oh. <laughs> is this Aristocrats? Know. Or is this uh, Red White I... Black Vampires? I don't know. This is oh, bad. boy. That's not, that's not great. I guess just beat down. <laughs> it could be. I don't know. I don't know what we could be seeing here. No, no play on two. Um, maybe an immortal servitude deck. We could be four color animator. That's very oh, true. Oh, that's well. They don't play a planes. No. Okay. No. 
No, red, white, black, and troll is a possibility. Yeah, yeah, it could be that. Could be that. Uh, the deck that's running. Uh, you know, the lingering souls and uh, the draw two cards, pitch two cards spell. Faithless, Faithless living. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what do, what do you got for us? What do you got for us? Sin Three Collector. Land? Come on, play a Sin Collector. <laughs> One time. One time Sin Collector no. me. Oh, that's bad. Well, it's not that bad. <laughs> I guess he can kill our voice. Ugh. Ugh. Omri. Well, I'm going to swing so, through, and if he blocks, I'm just going to rampage him. For sure, yep. Because we just need to get there. I agree. Yeah, we're not, uh, we're not getting anywhere. We're not getting anywhere by leaving that Boris Reckoner around. So the deck isn't really liking us much. Oh, no respect. Right. No respect. Well, show him the gore. You respect it now, sir. <laughs> so now is the question of whether he eats the voice of resurgence or throws three at us. He probably eats the voice of resurgence here, but I'm fine with trading an entire Boros Reckoner for one half of the voice of resurgence. Yeah. And I guess a, a Gore Clan Rampager. No, nope, left it on the table. Wow. Okay, sure. He's probably got another Boris Reckoner then. <laughs> Very likely. <laughs> uh, what do you mean, do I know how to math, Rudy? All right. Don't play another Boris Reckoner. It's aristocrats. Oh, okay, that's fine. I'm cool. I'm cool with racing for a second, I guess. We got to rattle off some lands, though. Yeah. <laughs> what I would really like is to draw a land and have Domri. Domri raid. Yeah, I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. <laughs> Domri, Bastard Domri comes you first. down and says, Aristocrat, voice, into the pit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. Come on, one time, deck. One time, me. Yeah! Got there. No attack All right. Let's give him the business. I love Domri Raid so much. Mess with the deer. You get the horse! <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> that little leafy elk man, he's coming to get you. Right. And this, kids, is why you don't play Falconrath Aristocrat onto a naked board. <laughs> because sometimes it has to fight a voice of resurgence. Ooh, maybe he'll sack it in response and not kill our voice of resurgence again. <laughs> That'd be great. Yep. Get some. Get some, Falconrath Aristocrat. Get some. Oh, he didn't do it. But at least we have a blocker. Yeah. We got a 1-1. One, one. Hopefully we can play a Boros Reckoner or a Fireman Avenger next turn. <laughs> Thundermaw Hellcat. Your face. No. <laughs> yeah, that's, see, that's a good thing. That's that's the other uh, great thing about Domri Raid. If you're a little landlight, in, well, it's all creatures. So he can just power you through the creatures to get you to the lands. Yeah. Uh, which can smooth those draws out quite a bit. Well, there's like seven non-creature spells in the deck, right? Like... Right. Yeah. Oh, God. That's... <laughs> That's hard. That's really hard for us to beat, by the way. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's, a... That's a hell of a magic card you just played right there. <laughs> I would very much like to draw a land, please. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, Selesnia Charm would do it. it would. I'd take a Selesnia Charm. All right, I'll take two. <laughs> yep. Sledger, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, the tornadoes missed us here in Norman, where I live, which is just south of Oklahoma City, and just a little bit south of where the tornado hit. We appreciate it, man. Everything's about back to normal. This state is crazy good at uh, making sure to protect its own. Rampager? Okay, I guess. I mean, we drew a card. Yeah, we also drew a Thunderball Hellkite. Yeah. <laughs> so we need Sometimes to block that happens. opposite out, unfortunately. I can't even um, swing. Do we? Well, we're at nine. We're going to seven. We go to two. Yeah, we have to block the opposite at. Um, not yeah. Optional. I mean, it's not often that this deck is this mana hosed, in all fairness. So. Uh, Quarity Walkers. Yes, I absolutely play at Wizards Asylum. Um, part of the uh, that WZN crew that we talk about on Twitter all the time. You should come down and play with us sometime, man, if you haven't already. Maybe uh, I'm, I'm. If you played there, I'm sure I know you. I just uh, don't know your your uh, handle. 
Yeah, okay. Cartel or scrap. Don't kill our guy. That's also fine. It's just straight aristocrats. Okay. This is fine. We're much better post board versus versus this deck. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Jump skis. Sure. Yeah. This is bad inevitability. I agree. We need to land real bad. I don't even think one land does it. We just have to get the all right. Well, there it is. We just have to get the reckoner online, like, and I think we have to put the reckoner down, um, and probably fight the blood artist, which costs uh, us our domri, right? It. I mean, it'll cost us our domri, but like that yeah, thing. Yeah, otherwise be, we're dead, right? Yeah. yeah that t it's going to take one versus taking the rest of our life points, right? So. Truth. Watch him have slip here. Balls. That would be, but I mean, if he's got slip, we can't beat it anyway. So, yeah, we go to five. We go to three. He can't attack in with Obzidat. At least he loses the Obzidat if he does. We go to one off the Cartel Aristocrat, and if he has any other creature, we're just dead. He's probably just going to drain us out with the Obsidat, though. That's what I'd do. Yeah, we're pretty dead, Rudy. <laughs> Thanks, land screw. <laughs> uh, still had all these aristocrats. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay, so what do we want in and out here? Uh, so the cards we're definitely bringing in. Uh, Unflinching Courages, which sounds a little weird. Um, because they have things like Tragic Slip and Orzhov Charm, but the Trample is so incredibly relevant against a lot of their blocking shenanigans game plans. Okay. Uh, we definitely want the Bonfire of the Dams. So that card is a house against them. And then a couple of others are up in the air. Like, we could bring in Rest in Peace. It's not the worst. It's not the best. Um, we could bring in Oblivion Ring. That's not a bad spell at all. Uh, so let's figure out what we want to take out, though. Um... With the Unflinching Courage, I don't think the Charms are great. Um, I think okay. the Unflinching Courage takes the place of the Charms. We're going to cut these voices, too? Uh, he's not awful, but he's not fantastic. Um, with the way that their removal is, I do think we can probably shave a Fire Main Avenger at least one. Um, it cuts our curve down, too. Um, Thunder Maws are good against their... Uh, lingering souls draws. So I feel like if we, so we want to cut one Domri here, I think, or you uh, never want to cut Domri raid. I I personally never want to cut Domri raid unless I'm playing hexproof. Hexproof is the only match where I cut Domri. Um, but I could see cutting one Domri um, since we're bringing in so many spells. Uh, yeah, like he, his fight isn't that effective because they have the aristocrats. You're not always really going to kill what you want. Um, but just having him, like, still making a Boros Reckoner fight two things is disgusting. Yeah. It's very, very good. So here's where it comes down to, uh, do we want to play the two other voices or the rest in pieces? See, I uh, like, see, the two Selesnya charms I think are relevant. Like, it is our only oh, he, out to Obsidat. Yeah, he showed us off to that. He showed us off to that. Right? So I like at least two. Sure. Um, we have two to cut. Um, yeah. It's probably the Avengers, man. As much as I love them, it's probably got to be a, a hiring card, and I don't want to cut Thunder Maw uh, or Gore Clan. Thunder Maw just wins us the game, uh, and Gore Clan Rampager, well, it also just wins us the game. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, if we can, especially if we can suit either one of those gentlemen up with an unflinching courage. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, let's do it. Yeah. We would like to play first. Uh, that kid. I like Rest in Peace against Blood Artist Two. Uh, man, really, Deck? Come on, come on. This is not that great either, but I have to keep this hand. Yeah, yeah, you do. It sucks. <laughs> um, that kid, I like Rest in Peace against Blood Artist too, but uh, it's a lot more effective against the Junk Aristocrats Junk, yeah. deck since they're much more graveyard-centric. Yeah. Here it's good, but it's not fantastic. All right, so this is a slow draw. The Arbor Elf does nothing. <laughs> um, and we have a voice, which isn't a great card, so... 
These draws have not been ideal against Aristocrats, which I don't think is a terrible matchup. It's one of our worst ones, but I don't think it's the worst. <laughs> we had we all the sweet cards last hand. We just had no land. Right, yeah. So it turns out that's how it works. <laughs> if you don't have lands, you usually have gas. <laughs> awesome. Yep. All right, so let's get that Arbor Elf out there to beat down. <laughs> you never know. We could draw a sweet fetch land next turn. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler, that's probably right. <laughs> I imagine Reed Duke runs real good all the time. <laughs> he did run pretty well. Blood artist, huh? Deal. All right. Oh, we're we're attacking into that. You're so welcome much. for playing constructed. You don't want to watch. See, look at this skill game. Oh, so good. What do we need it for? We don't. <laughs> we got four mana, right? Uh, so that doesn't I mean, really I do it. Just cast. I mean, we want to get on the board with Smiter here, but I mean, do we want to attack with Arbor Elf too? Um. I think it it's probably best to not take the damage, and we can get away with not taking the damage off Stomping Grounds this turn. I think us saving two life is a lot more relevant than him taking one damage, sure. especially with Thundermall Hellkite in our hand. Uh, so yeah, let's just go ahead and use that to untap and play our Smiter here. <laughs> All right, we're we're starting we're starting to run a little bit good, a little bit. All right. Big smites, right on I, time. I feel like this might be one of those hands where Gavney Township's going to be pretty good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it, Gavney Township is also very good against this deck. Uh, but, I mean, so so is uh, uh, Kessig. Yeah. They're both pretty sweet. And this is the kind of draw we want to see from him, where he just plays a bunch of dirty, crappy one-mana creatures. Oh, look. That, that land can come into play. Oh, no. Uh, it's... So, all right, stream, well, what do you want to see this turn? <laughs> Tell us what you want in chat. Let's so, hear it. I actually think I want... Um, so I don't want to play Thundermaw this turn. I want to bash. I want to make him block with the Traveler and then hit Thundermaw afterwards. Uh, okay. Well, I, do you think he's going to block with the Thunder or with the Traveler yet? I mean, I guess he could to start getting damage through. Yeah. I think, like, I feel like he's going to. So then what yeah. do we... So we want to play... Uh, you don't want to show him the Gavany yet. I uh, so. want to hold that back as long as possible. So if we're not playing Thundermaw this turn, then we're definitely playing Voice Resurgence. I mean, like, we um, can and... play Thundermaw if you want. I mean, we can certainly get there. Like, it's probably best to just hold off and make him waste a removal spell if he has one. But no, either way, don't. let's not play anything until the second main phase. Um, let's just go ahead and get in there with the, with the uh, Locks on Smiter. Okay. But if we're not playing Thundermaw for value... To get in, like you just don't want to run it into slip, right? Uh, so here we're definitely like we're definitely not playing Thundermaw this turn, obviously, since we didn't play it before attacks, right? Um, but I th I do like your line of waiting to get the value off the Doom Traveler because I imagine he just gains the life here, like he takes the chump block, gets his unblockable attacker that he's definitely going to get in with for every turn from now on forever. Yeah. Um, and there's no way for us to kill it otherwise. So yeah, so sure. here he's going to block, take two, we'll yeah. play voice, yeah. and uh, and then make him use his tragic slip on the smiter if he wants to, at that point, which then clears our, clears the way for Thunderbow. Yeah, I agree. I like it. It's a pretty good line. Yeah, if it was me playing, I totally would have just slammed Thunderbow, by the way. <laughs> I would have just gotten the damage in. And just uh, sword over his head, and beat him down until he found an answer. But uh, I have been finding playing this deck that it's typically right to hold off on Thunder Maw as long as you look, can look. to make them use. Yeah. Oh my right. god, he had a tragic slip. Oh, oh look at that. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. All right. Now let's see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> so that means that it also was right to play the voice pre-combat. Yeah. So we should have done that as well. Agreed. Bonk. So he found his lands. Does he have a Reckoner for us? Looks like he does. No, he's got a Lingering Souls. Oh! -ho! <laughs> Welcome to Blowout Town. Well, that with, guy. with no mana left <laughs> either? Like, whoo, buddy. <laughs> Although, I mean, he's going to gain three off of it. So yeah, no. Well, it's we're going to swing at the voice, too. 
yeah. Not the best thing in the world. Yeah, get in there, sure. <laughs> I do love me a Thundermaw Hellkite against some spirit tokens. All right, yeah, this was worth a lot more waiting one turn. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to play that one instead. I for certainly one, would. <laughs> Just for one, let's not... Or no, it doesn't matter, right? Because we're going to take four anyway. So, uh, yeah, you, we can max it out. We can't play anything else. We definitely need to kill the Blood Artist. So that was a pretty good draw. Yeah. Oh, uh, did uh, I have to untap my mana first? No, you don't. You don't have to use the Arbor Elf because he gets to, he'll get to swing for one this turn. Oh, all right. So it's the same thing. <laughs> yep. Bam! Bonfire you. So he'll take three, gain four, we lose four and go to 13. He's got two cards in hand and nothing on board. And we have a Thundermaw in hand. I, I like, like our it. chances. Yeah, and a Gavity Township. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, exactly. Tyler, that's exactly what we want here. Uh, if we can get him to just flash back that Lingering Souls or, God forbid, cast another one, that'd be fantastic. Uh, all right. So I'll just play this... Gavney Township? Yep. Sure. I like it. And then hit you with stuff. Stuff, things. Yep. So now he's even back better. To even better is if he doesn't actually play. Like, if he draws the land and plays Aristocrat, that's even filthier. I agree. I'll take the four. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to nine for this. Yeah. <laughs> so, see if he's got expensive spells in his hand or not. This is sweet, too, because, like, we can just. I just swing with the elf too. Yeah. Yep. Deal. <laughs> he didn't even leave up black for tra tragic slip. Nice. <laughs> Seems good. All right. So we'll just jam this card. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. As a uh, as one Cedric Phillips might say, Trogdo. <laughs> Get in there and burninate the countryside, son. Uh -huh. See you later. <laughs> Bashes you. Yep. Ate you. And I will play this land. <laughs> ah, we leave him at one with just a Gavany Township activation. Let's see what he's got for us. Okay. Acceptable. So that's what he drew. So he still has expensive cards? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I can do that. Yep. He has two cards in hand. We can make our dudes big. Let's just swing away. Yeah. Um, we might not attack with the Arbor Elf this turn. Um, just so that it doesn't get eaten by the Cartel Aristocrat. Sure. But I think attacking with the other two is fine. Cause like it's not gonna get in damage anyway, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. we might as well we might as well save it. Yeah. Acceptable. White, green, one, one. All my guys get bigger. Four, nine. He'd be taking nine this turn. Go into three. <laughs> yeah, so this is okay. He'd be dead if this was a Kessig Wolf run, though. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. I mean, uh, next turn. He's dead next turn anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> I wish it had Trample now. I wish that we had swung with that Armor Elf and given it Trample. That's what I wish. <laughs> and by that, I mean, we wouldn't have done that at all. We definitely would have just swung with the voice in the Thunder Maw and given the voice Trample and gotten our 3-3 three, three out of it. Yeah, he's he's up against it now. I would like you to find a way to deal with that Thunder Mile Kite, please. Yeah. Go! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Kessick Wolfrun is maybe the way to go. Wolfrun would be really good here, because, like, I mean, it, it, then we could have swung with the Arbor Elf, right? And, like, with no ramifications, because, like, he blocks, and he if he blocks to try to kill the Voice Resurgence. Um, then he sacrifices the Doom Traveler who blocks oh, the Arbor. Oh, no! Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, we lose our Thunder Maw, but what are you going to do? <laughs> we take 10 here. Yeah, he still can't attack with Cartel Aristocrat. Boo. Bonk. So we take 8, go to 5. And then we lose our dragon. Hopefully we just draw another dragon. That'd be nice. That'd be very nice. Or bonfire. Right. Bonfire would also work. I'll accept either one of these cards. Gore Clan Rampager? Yep. We got plenty outs right now. We plenty one. outs that I like. Sun Petal Grove is not one of them. <laughs> uh, so we, uh, he has to block. So we swing both. So, yeah. Yeah, so now it's a lot better to have this Arbor Elf this turn. Yeah. And he loses Spirit Token. I mean, we die to another Traitor's Instinct, but what are you going to do? Not much. We're not playing around that. He takes three and goes to three. Also, Scotty, guess what he'd be dead to right now? Kiss a wolf run. Yep. <laughs> Very dead in the face. <laughs> we would have already won this game. Oh, he scooped. Okay, sweet. Did he? Okay. Uh, looks like it. Or did you move, just move to the sideboard? No, I moved to the sideboard. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> You're teasing me, Scotty. There you go. Guru Forest and Wolf Run. Next game. Yep. Deal. Uh, yes, we also died to Aristocrat and land, but like we've been dead to that. I, it's not. We can't really play around these things. See, we're dead to the Aristocrat regardless, since we don't have a flyer. Uh, so, like, we just have to attack, swing out, and have him dead. We also we can't attack next turn if he draws a reckoner. We can't attack either. Yeah. Bye, well, Tom. We'll see. Yeah. One time, for justice. He's not slamming a land. He's not slamming a land. He's not slamming a mark of mutiny. <laughs> I'll take an unflinching courage here, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> that would be very nice. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Don't make me wait, kiddo. And all of you kids with justice in the chat, get it out of here. <laughs> uh, also fine. Still looking for Thundermore Hellkite, Bonfire of the Damned, or anything that says Trample. We have, like, so He's... many outs to this <laughs> like... Uh, he still did not leave up Tragic Slip. <laughs> Something that I'm very happy with. He obviously just doesn't have it. Alright. There it is. Yeah! Is this card good? Dragging you. Is this good? <laughs> we found a spell. It's a good one. Kill you? <laughs> <Wee -hee. laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, then land into bonfire into tr trample spell. Okay. <laughs> Deal. Um. So we want to try the rest in pieces over the voice resurgence. No. No? Okay. Alrighty. Over an Arbor Elf? No, but I think I could probably try the third Selesnya Charm over the voice, because it's another trample effect, too. That's true. And it's also a 2 2. I'm fine with it. Alright, now if we draw voice, I'm going to say it was rest in peace. And we'll see if it'll be any good. Yeah, like, it's it, they got a good point. Like, I think we might actually want to bring in Rest in Peace. It does turn off Tragic Slip, too. Like, that's that's a big deal. It's not a creature, which sucks. Well, do I cut One Courage is fine. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, so here... I think it's either Domri or Arbor Elf.
All right, we'll try this. We'll try this down to two Domri's plan. All right, crush fingers and hope. Yep, here we go. Ooh. I'd take a rest in peace in the opening hand. That'd be pretty good. No, we actually got a hand though. Holy crap! This is a handful of cards, <laughs> even though it's only a two-two flint of four. We actually get to keep a seven, Scotty. I'm it's excited. a miracle. Well, we could turn two smiter if we wanted to. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. That's a thing. And then we can like bash into Rampager. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Get ya. Well, we can we can uh, we can turn two. We want to turn two smiter into flint hoof boar. Oh no, we won't have five, so we can't get it. Oh, we're just gonna no. double ramp. Yeah, we're just, we're just getting is there. that good? Yeah, we're just is, getting is, is is this a hand of cards? That's gonna happen. <laughs> That's this trample all day, all day. I gotta day. say, when I was playing the Junk Aristocrats deck, there was exactly one thing that I didn't want to see out of a Gore Clan Rampager deck: two Gore Clan Rampagers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do I hate doing well, Rudy? Get out of here. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> hey, 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 evil beard. It's enough out of you. <laughs> Blue cards suck. <laughs> hey, we won't tolerate this, the, the unabashed blue hate. We have, to, exactly. we have to be kind to everybody. No, we don't. Wait, Just do I? Mono black is, that a, is not a deck. I didn't sign a contract when I came onto this show. <laughs> <laughs> Fired! <laughs> All right. Aristocrat. Blood Artist. That's fine. Blood Artist doesn't stop anything from getting Gore Clan Rampaged. No, it does not. Uh, not even a little. Yeah, we just play the Rootbound Kraken. <laughs> we don't want to take any more damage. Big Smites. What's up? Shlabam! This guy's really good. I am I really like Lockstone Smiter right now. It's just so, in this deck especially, just like the four damage is so good. It dodges just enough removal, sort of like Resto Angel, and he comes down early, and with this deck, we're just trample all the day. All day. Yep, I like it. It's a good plan. It's a good plan. A, a yes, Lansdell, you and your English, quote-unquote, he big body. That's true. So, how <laughs> do you feel here if we draw another red source to just, like, bash in with Smiter and double Rampager? Um, depending <laughs> on what he plays, so he brought that land in untapped, which makes me think that he's got a Reckoner. Um, like, he has to have Reckoner here, right? Okay. Yeah, he's got a Reckoner, so, like, we're just Rampaging. Sure. Um, and I think it's, like, Rampager Boar, hopefully we draw a land that doesn't shock us. Yeah, Ooh. perfect. So, we'll just go ahead and swing in first. Because <laughs> we can't play Pig, give it haste, and get in there. Um... We can next turn. Well, if we rampage, mm -hmm. we're gonna deal three damage. Only three to the reckoner. The rest goes to his face. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's so yeah. good. Okay, so we'll play yeah. this crag anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And Yep, just getting in there with Lockdown Smiter. Because we have to we wanna hold the pilgrim back so we can play Boar in the second main phase. Do we? Yeah. Why wouldn't we? I mean, I'm I'm open if you if you have a reason why not. Like I'm I'm open to it. Oh no no, because we need to save the smiter above all else. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, sure. You're yeah. right. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's like the trample here is hyper important. Like we're getting in for five, and he's like he can't even kill well, the. We're not smiter. gonna be able to play. Oh shit. Pig anyway. Yeah 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 So I'm just yeah, gonna yeah, swing yeah, yeah, yeah. with both, and then okay. if he blocks the reckoner. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We definitely don't want a double Rampager here. That's no. just a little Greek. No, I agree. But, like... Yeah, we should have cast the... Well, no, because it'll just kill yeah. the boar then. Like, yeah, this is... It's a little awkward. Um, yep. Rampage there. But, like, if he blocked the Pilgrim, then we could uh -huh. Rampage the Pilgrim. I agree. Still yeah. take the Reckoner, and our Smiter would, would live still. So yeah, that's I agree. Why I so now, like... Now he gets to kill the pilgrim if he wants, but he threw the damage at our face last time. So we'll see if we, we'll see if he does the same thing this time. Just like last time, it's right to kill the creature, but we'll see if he figures it out this time. Yeah. He's also at fifteen. We have another, another rampager in hand. He's at yeah, ten, he's and we have another rampager in hand. Yeah. Lulz. 
Nope, Hold targeting on. us. Yeah, okay. So we did it right. You got it. Deal. <laughs> okay, so since that was since that's the way that it played out, we definitely should have played the Temple Garden this turn. <laughs> yeah. But playing the playing the rootbound crag made it a little less suspicious that we had a rampager, so. Yep. You know what that doesn't stop? Another rampager. Or a Celestia charm. So I'm... Uh, well, what do you want to do here? Is he dead? Well, I think so, right? So he we attack with both. He's got he's got three total toughness, and we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So no, he's not. He's not. Yeah, I mean, if he if he doesn't block, he's dead. But he's gonna block. Sure. Um, so why don't we just throw pig in there too? Oh, because he's a two-two. Yeah, exactly. That's awkward. Um, but like we can we can pig haste and hold up rampager slash Selesnia charm. If you want to take two here. Well, we can just like. Yeah, he probably does. A, you're right, Rudy. He probably has a slip this turn since he finally left up the black. <laughs> but so if he wants to slip, he has to sacrifice. Yeah, like he's got to sack the blood artist, which I'm fine with. Like I'm fine trading blood artist for Loxodon Smiter. Yeah, especially when we have another one. So let's put the two, yeah, let's yeah. let's play the garden, take the two, and swing with both, and see what he does. And okay. then we've got option to like rampage and play boar afterwards. Sure. Um, so uh, definitely tap the pilgrim for mana here with the temple garden. Well, no, we're gonna swing with both. Oh, you mean we're taking the two off the temple and swinging with the two creatures we have yes. now? Okay. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Acceptable. I thought we were right, playing because we want to try to mitigate, like, because he's going to slip one of them. Yeah. And whichever one he slips. We can uh, rampage the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we can if this, respond. Like, if, this is, if this is the case, we have no effects before damage. Yeah. Because we gotta wait for him to do his stuff. Yeah, but that's it, Rudy. Like, we're not going to act. If this is his play, we're not going to act at all. We'll we'll deal with like leaving him at parity and making him throw I'll a cartel or a scrap. Uh, like, I'll play another smiter at this point. If this is what he's gonna yeah. do, we'll just bash. We'll just jam a smiter. Yeah. And that's fine. <laughs> I wonder if he just moto misclicked that. Maybe. Yeah, he had the he had the slip Lanzell. There was no way we were ever going to double pump. No, but we, but <laughs> we wanted. No but we had way. to present the threat of it, right? Yeah, like, for because, sure. Because it forces him not to. Like it forced it forced him to sacrifice the aristocrat and just like lose it because otherwise yeah. we blow him out with with that if he if he pulls his uh, blows his wad too early, we just blow him out that way. Agreed. Excuse me. We could use a mountain for this pig. We could use a mountain for this pig. Yeah, like, Lansdale, this guy's been super telegraphing his plays. Um, when he doesn't have slip, he taps out all his black mana. Like, every time. So, when he leaves black mana up, we actually 100% know that he has slip. I'm also fine with Obs at that time. <laughs> yeah, especially with this Celestia charm in my hand. Obs at that time is acceptable. Yeah, this Rampager card is pretty good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the magic I knew, card. I knew that I knew that Rampager would shore up matches single handedly in the main deck. <laughs> I already knew this would happen. <laughs> So he has no sack outlet. He's dead. Dead? No, not dead. Four, eight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has two points of toughness. <laughs> well, if we get a mountain here, we can just swing a pig and then Slesnia charm a blocker. Or sl so one thing we have to make sure that he's not setting us up for is. Just kill us with a falcon wrath aristocrat. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Is that good? 
<laughs> Neat. I would like to slap that on a Loxodon Smiter, please. <laughs> I don't care what you're setting up for, kid. <laughs> because now you're dead. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> Attack you? <laughs> yeah. Is this good? Show your work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You notice we still left up Selesnia Charm, right? Yes, we did. <laughs> yes, we did. Good job. Good boy. <laughs> All right. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes magically <laughs> test your skill. Sometimes this happens. <laughs> sure. I know a lot of people that are quitting standard because of this exact situation. Sure. Like, this card's dumb. <laughs> Mark of Mutiny. Well, that's obnoxious. Dickbag. Uh, yeah. I guess I have to Selesnya Charm my own guy now. And then kill you with Rampager. That's really obnoxious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can we do anything about that? No. Can we, can we like, can we just take the seven? No, because then it gives him seven. So? Then we get our guy back. And then we just no, gain cause... it back. But plus four, plus six. We actually kill him if he doesn't block again. You wanna let this you wanna let this resolve? Can he he, he can't kill us this turn, right? So we're gonna feel really stupid if he if he had the last card in his hand is Cartel Aristocrat. I agree. We will. But he would have played Cartel Aristocrat like last turn, right? I don't know. Like, I I really don't like Celestia charming our own guy here. I really don't uh, like that. It's so bad. He's already used one Cartel Aristocrat. Like, make him have another one, I guess. It sucks, but... Oh, fuck. Yeah, like, he didn't have it. All right. So, like, now, now we just attack and kill him. Three, one, two. Uh, so he's already taking seven. You no, no. We should have played the pig. You're not dead yet. <laughs> we should have played. Should have played pig and attacked. Mm. Like, if he had the Orzhov charm, he probably would have killed our smiter last turn. So he's only blocking one guy. So that's six, so... ten. 11, 12, 13, he's dead. If we go all, all in. Yeah, all right. So that's 11, 12. He's gaining, or well, that goes on the stack. Yeah. Um, yeah, he would have killed our guy if he had the removal spell. I'd like you to take 13, please. Yay! Yeah. Got there. <laughs> Sweet. All right, yeah, the unflinching courage, pretty good plan, I think. <laughs> I like that part. <laughs> that was good, actually. All right, so so change it made to the deck as we added the Guru Forest. Yeah. Whoops. So that's in there now. We have the Kessig Wolf run in there now. Um, so that's there. Uh, yeah, Gore Clan was insane. Um, card is unreal good. Yep, four is fine. Yep, good. Okay, yep. All that stuff is pretty good. Yeah, everything else, same. Yep. I like it. Spawn yeah, just make sure we, and we got Kessig because Kessig 100% would have won us that game. Yeah. Okay. Next. Oh, <laughs> we missed one. Oh, Rudy. Oh, you and your Rudy. angels. The fire mains are good, man. Trust me when I tell you. We did win the role. We will play first. Yes, and sir. I'm even oh, look play... at that. Oh, it's awkward. Oh, look at this. Is this a good hand? Well, it's not great, but it's okay. We get like we get to play turn one dork, turn two voice. We're fine. <laughs> True. Play a land. I like this hand. That. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This snap keep. I like sand a lot. It's not the best. It's not the worst. It's true. It'll at least grind us to where we need to be if that's what it takes. Correct. 
<laughs> Jason, you are correct. We do oh, like God, winning dice. What the hell is this? Uh oh. Well, uh, really it, it's this. something that loses to voice resurgence. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell you that much. <laughs> All right, watery grave. Uh, I. Oh God, is this seriously Asper control? Yeah, sure. Oh my God, really? <laughs> All right, well, so he has the Zorius charms in his hand, and they're all dead. <laughs> so I'm going to play another um, voice here? Or Smiter? I think... So... Like, we can just play voice, bash for three, play a land. All right, so here's here, here's how here's how I typically like to work these things yep. against control. Um, we want to get in as much damage as we can on the play before the Wrath comes down. And then set ourselves up for the Wrath the next turn. So what we're going to do here is play Loxodon Smiter. Uh, get in, or we play the Rootbound Crag so we can get in as much damage as we can. We play the Loxodon Smiter. Uh, we attack for three this turn. We attack for seven next turn and play the Voice. And if he has the Wrath, then we get two Voice tokens and we have Selesnya Charm. So he's like all he's on the verge of being dead just just via that. Lingering this is fine. Souls. <laughs> is this a card? Oh, this oh. comes to play tap. Oh. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh, so much disappointment. <laughs> Well, so I... much disappointment. So do I bash with both here and make him chump both of his tokens? Like cuz he's going to throw uh... both in front of the voice, right? Uh, he will, if he wants to kill it, so he'll probably throw both in front of the voice. So, like, I think you can, you can safely swing with both and Selesnya Charm the voice. Because Selesnya Charm is not at its best in this match. Well, the two, just, two, I'm going to throw all of them, then. Uh, because we can voice and, uh, Selesnya Charm this turn. Oh, so you want to do this. Okay. That's yeah. fine. I can get behind that. He did it. Yeah. He did it. So this actually kind of tells us a little bit that he doesn't have a uh, wrath, which is nice. <laughs> yep, I'd like you to take six this turn. Uh, go ahead and play that voice. And our land. Make sure not to forget that. Oh, you know, I forgot the land! Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> Scotty! <laughs> no! No! Oh, no! Bro! <laughs> <laughs> Now, if we rip the land and he would have been dead, you're going to feel real bad. <laughs> Concur. Oh, that's totally fine. <laughs> I'm 100% okay with this plan. Oh, got there anyway! Uh, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he takes nine this turn and goes to two? Digs for the verdict? Leaves his uh, yes, he digs for the verdict, but if he taps out for verdict, he's dead. So, so do it anyway. Fine with it. Um, yeah, like, I mean, like the other option is we just attack, you give him two turns, and we can thunder bomb out after that. Like, right? We one, if we two, were going to do that, then we had to play the cliff top this turn. Sure. <laughs> so we might as well get the damage in now. We're committed. We're pot committed, folks. Rudy, the only way we get punished for this is if uh. Is if he has terminus, like he has to draw exactly terminus. And we're ignoring Jace here. Uh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, we should have played around terminus, but when Scotty laid the wrong land for this turn to play around terminus, like it was just over. No matter. All right, so this is gonna be fun. Now we get the anti-control package. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Yes, right. uh, so for control, we have two Assemble Legions, which are very, very good cards. Um, we're going to bring in the Boros Charms, as those stop the Wrath effects, at least four of them. Mm -hmm. um, we definitely want the Oblivion Ring, since he's playing Planeswalkers. And that's about it. Like, so this is one of those times where we could bring in one Ray of Revelation, um, if we think that he's got lots of enchantments, but I'd want to see him first. Mm -hmm. Agree. Okay. Um, so these Selesnya charms were only okay. Yes, they're not good. 
They're a flash creature at best. We can cut a mana dork? Um, I'm on the fence about that, actually, because turn two Domri Raid is our actual best play. Okay. So, voices are amazing. Like, are uh, we... we have to keep voice. I think it's fire mains again. God, again? Oddly enough. I, we'll be like, so here's what it comes down to. They reward us for uh for over committing, is what it comes down to. Yeah. So, but I mean like, like they like especially in this Esper deck, he's probably gonna have more point removal than usual. Mm. So having battalion isn't really gonna work quite so much. <laughs> so I think I like this plan. I think it's solid. Um, like the assembles could just as easily be rogue stars, and that'd be great <laughs> in this match. Okay, well we'll try it this way. Let's see what happens. Well, sometimes you draw no lands. Sometimes Gross. moto. Well, if we did have, if we did have two lands, that'd be a turn two Domi raid. <laughs> yeah. So this is one of those hands where you have like two of the stone nut cards. Yuck. We're on the draw. You should, you <laughs> We're on the hand? draw, and we only have nine green sources in our deck. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, not nine. No, we got more. We got more than nine. We got. You playing three sun pedals, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen green sources. Fifteen green sources. So yeah. we're better than twenty-five percent. Um, we're Bad almost fifty percent. We're almost fifty percent to hit a green source. And we have to hit it in, in two turns. <laughs> like these cards are dumb, right? I think you can roll the dice with this hand. If, these cards are really good. Since we're on six, I'm actually fine with taking the risk uh, on this hand. I'm keeping it. I especially like it because we're once again ignoring what Rudy says. Uh, we can't <laughs> want. Uh, like this is a hand where you can roll the dice if you want to. Because we're we're at almost fifty percent to draw a green source, and we need it in two turns. So, like the numbers, the numbers add up. Yeah, but I can't do that. But if you want, if you want to, if you want a mulligan, I'm fine with it. Okay, well I mulliganed, yes. and this yeah, hand is much better. <laughs> yeah. All right. This at least gives us pig, a three a three three. We got a Boros charm. We yeah. got pig pig. Okay. Yeah, all right, this we're it's the it's a bacon pizza. We're some more bacon. More <laughs> and yes, Rudy, bacon. we literally just had a lesson on mulligans, and I literally said during the show that sometimes I run the numbers, <laughs> and that's exactly what I did with that hand. <laughs> I I honestly probably would have kept that hand in the tournament because because the odds are there. Anyway, it's pig time. Pig 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 pig. pig. <laughs> <Sweet>. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. What All right, got? control guy. Lingering got? souls. I got another pig with haste. No. Nope. Um. Do we run them both out? I actually don't think we want to run them both out here because then we have like actually nothing. All right. <laughs> so I'm. I think it's okay to hold one pig here. Like, because he, if he, like, if we throw the pig out there. And he verdicts like we're just done. We're we're just done. And him Zori Starming here is great too. That's fine. So we could have gotten in the X three if we had played the pig. Um. So now, yeah, you just play the land and the pig now. Still have pig. <laughs> so we still have pig. We're recycling pigs. Yeah. This uh, Flint of War is actually a card that's really impressed me at this list. Um. The 3-3 three, three for yeah. haste is really, really good. Still had all this bacon. <laughs> yep, that's a thing. Uh, Rudy, I agree we need to maximize damage against the Revelation deck. We also mulligan to 5. We need to make sure that we don't just die from overcommitting. Boar. Um, so, like, if I drew another land here, I would play Boar and leave up Boros Charm? Right, but we're not drawing another land here. So <laughs> we're drawing another pig. I'm gonna just bash with the pig. Yeah, I like here. I actually think it's fine. We'll see what he does. We're he's in his draw step. 
Oh no, I think I froze. Uh, Scotty, can you reload my screen, oh, please? Your internet's bad. Yeah. Okay. Stop sharing screen. Share screen. This one start. So he took three, like a champ. So okay. I just want to ship now. I don't want to commit the other boar, right? <laughs> or do we enforce it, like? Um. So we have to draw like a three drop or a land to keep yeah. moving. Um. I actually think it's fine to just pass here. We'll play the pig next turn. Well, if we do nothing else, right? Yeah. How are we going to win by waiting, J. Rich? We uh, will win by waiting by making him blow what spells he has on the cards that aren't Thundermaw Hellkite. And then when we finally draw the lands, we're going to kill him with two Thundermaw Hellkites. We have to draw the land before we can commit the second pig. Yep. There's Jace. He's probably digging, which I'm fine with. No. So now we can... Nope. Blessing. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So now I feel right. less... like I uh, Just go ahead and slam the pig. Yeah, and haste her up and just get there. Yeah. Because now we have Assemble, which is in, like another good permanent threat. That makes me smile. So we want to attack Jace here with both. Or just attack him. So Jace will take two if he chumps with the Snapcaster. Yeah, it's probably attack Jace. We got to get it off the board. Um, yeah, it's going to die in two turns. One way or the other. Because if we if we if he jump blocks here, then uh, Jace is at three. So he can he can minus it once. Yeah. Sure. We really need him to not play Supreme Verdict this turn. We very much need that to happen. <laughs> As if on yep. cue, suddenly. Yeah, of course. Like, I mean, he had it. He had to have it. Like, that'd be fine. I agree. And Rurik Thar would look better how, Lansdale? Not at all. Uh, yeah, yeah. All these Thunderbars. Yeah. Yeah, he took the souls, of course. Yep. That's a land. That. Uh, Hooray. We don't care about Jace at this point, right? Like, I can Boros charm him. <laughs> So, uh, no, we don't really care about Jace because he's just plussing this turn, right? So if we don't find, find anything else to do, then we can borrow a charm Jace. Because uh, if we... Um, the thing that sucks is if we draw a land... Well, I mean, we have to kill Jace if we draw the land for the assemble. Um, because so Jace actually answers a symbol. So. Okay, so let's just kill him now. Or, no, no he's going to plus one him. Exactly. And then we'll kill him. Okay, it's fine. Because, like, this Boros Charm isn't really going to do much with these Thunder Maws since we're going to have to tap out for him. Agree. Just need a land. Yeah, Lingering Souls. Yeah, that's fine. Flash it back. Please flash it back. Plus one or cast the other one. Four damage target player. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the first time that I have domed a Planeswalker with Boros Charm. <laughs> really? Yeah. Looks like one of the most amazing things um, to have the card. Well, it's uh, oh. Domery plus one. Yeah, that guy's pretty good. Make sure to leave up a green... Here's our other best card in the match. 
Thunder my Hellcat. Uh, sure. Sure. Why not? All the five <laughs> traps. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be real supply. It's real surprised when we play the third Thunder my Hellcat. Agree. <laughs> oh, he milled off. A, we would have drawn a land next turn. Rip down Craig, uh, and then two yeah, voices of he mills off. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Never would have played him anyway. So we're actually hoping that Domri bites a an Oblivion Ring or something similar this turn so that our Assemble the Legion doesn't. Yeah, that's a good point. Chromatic Lantern Slaughter Games. Oh, man, what a blowout. <laughs> <laughs> I... huh. Is it Assemble we play into open mana or Thunder Maw that he knows we have? Uh, so... And I'm plus one-ing Dom right here. It's probably Thundermaw that... Of course. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, give it one second. Too you late. don't plus one Dom right until after attacks. <laughs> Why? Too late. <laughs> because Why? he has... Because he has uh, Zorius Charm in his deck. Oh, that's one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um, so you just... Yeah, you just, uh, you just slam Thundermaw, okay? Like, we have three of them. Uh, it's not as guaranteed a win as a symbol is. But it's enough of a drain on his resources every turn that it's going to be obnoxious. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Nope, doesn't have the counter spell. Okay. Azorius Charm. He's only got four cards in hand. Yeah. Far <laughs> well, away? Did, so do we. 50% 50, 50 of our cards are dragons. So. <laughs> Sphinx's Rev? I would love it if he took five, but he's not going to take five. Far what away. is this? That only costs three, three yeah, to away us. Does. What's he doing? I don't know. Confusion. What are you doing, son? Milling me for three? Sure. There goes Oblivion Ring, Gorkland Rampager, and Clifftop Retreat. I'm fine with it. We have our five lands now. I couldn't care less. So he just doesn't have any way to answer this dragon? Nope. Or he does? No, some, no nope. he's tapped okay. out. Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess and we're just going to keep casting dragons. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, look. Terminus Esper off the control top. Players. Oh, that's also fine. Uh, attention, Esper control players. <laughs> this is a race you don't win. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're going to try to outrace the dragon with Mill, it's not going to work for you. If you're going to try to outrace Domri Raid and the dragon with Mill, it's not going to work. I promise. Double strike, trample, So he didn't have an Oblivion East. Ring last turn. Um, He didn't have a ring last turn, so Domri should be safe. Lingering souls from the yard. <laughs> he still has one in yep. his hand. Oh, no. He, uh, yeah, that's that, that one's from the yard, yeah. So he has three that we don't know. <laughs> and we have another dragon to kill all his lingering souls. All right, dragon. Yep. Targon you. He didn't draw a counter spell. So we know that the cards in his hand are actual blanks. I didn't use Domri like, Raid. Is... We did not use Domri Raid. Not yet. Use Domri Good Raid. job. But he do... we know that we know that he doesn't have an Azorius charm. It's because he didn't use it last turn before he milled us. Yep, five of you. All right, now we plus Domri. Get some. Come on, Doms. That's a land. Oh, that's fine. So, looks like three Thundermall Hellkites might be enough. <laughs> <laughs> might be? <laughs> looks like three Thundermall Hellkites and a Domri raid could potentially be enough to beat us for control. <laughs> I don't know yet. Good God. We still have 34 cards in our deck. <laughs> like, I, I can only imagine he's going to tilt so bad and we're like, dragon again? Yeah, he, he plays Verdict and we cast Dragon again. <laughs> Although this time I think it's a symbol of Legion. This time you think it is? Uh, if he like if he deals with this Dragon, it's a you want to play a symbol. If he doesn't deal with this Dragon, then it's Boar. And just go for lethal this turn without committing another Dragon. Well, I guess we commit another Dragon now. <laughs> Especially since yep. you just fly. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. So, you're dead? Yeah. Is this good? Dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
I'm gonna be that guy, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Do we? You said we had to be nice. We are being nice. <laughs> I haven't sent it yet. <laughs> he milled three lands for us. Hooray! And we drew another land. We drew another land. Okay, so I'm just gonna play him, right? Yeah, you just slam Thunder Maw. <laughs> he could have drawn something, but he has to have two somethings to kill two Thunder Maws. We have another haste creature in our hand, and he's out of lingering souls. Oh yeah, <laughs> we should. Well, but he can syncopate for two, Rudy, so it doesn't matter. Like it doesn't matter. Ultimate he, price. He has syncopate. He has syncopate. He's got the ultimate price. Ultimate price is also okay, and we have five damage. <laughs> like the land, guys. The land didn't matter since he can syncopate for two. We can't. We can't. Uh, we can't do it. I will play the land. I will play the land. I will play the land. I will activate yeah, Dominator. Raider. I will play the land. Yes, you will. Yes, you will activate Dominator. Raider. We're not friends anymore. <laughs> Dominator raids at seven. I you got kids. a rampager. I got a rampager. <laughs> <laughs> We're ultimating and playing all the cards. God, I, seriously, I've don't, never. Don't I've, scoop. Don't scoop. Don't Tell scoop. him not to concede. <laughs> I'm streaming. Please, don't, please don't scoop. On stream. Please don't scoop. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, you milled three more cards. Oh no, the fourth Thunder Maw. Aww. No. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no! What no! a jerk! <laughs> what a jerk! I probably should have held back the is this good. <laughs> like, that probably just <laughs> went over the edge. Did you actually type that into yeah. chat? Oh my yeah, God. I tapped the mana for Thunder I tapped the mana for Thunder Ma, and I had is this good ready? And as soon as I tapped the mana for Thunder Ma, I hit enter and then put him on the forward. <laughs> Boom. I love it. <laughs> Trogdor! <laughs> Didn't need our sideboard cards. Oh well. Good night, Gail. <laughs> See you later, man. Yeah. We will keep winning. <laughs> so, so oh yeah. man. So so here's the deck. Uh, we'll just we'll just come back to this again. So let's 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 analyze quickly what we did here. So I really want to play against like a mid range matchup or like an aggro matchup where Fireman Angel Fireman Avenger really shines because it's uh, it's very very good. In the matches where people I agree. don't have a time removal. Um, he's ripping up his poor Scotty Mac token right now. Fuck that guy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, so we'll jam this again. Uh, don't forget, legit MTG PayPal. There's your promo code. Make sure you go to MTGO Traders. The fine folks that hook us up with their decks every week. Uh, they also offer you some really sweet paper to moto conversions uh, that I've been watching Heath tweet about. So make sure you guys uh, hit them up for all of your MTGO needs because they certainly take care of all of ours. All right. Again. <laughs> Once more. Dan, are you there? Dan? Uh oh. I wonder how Dan's internet connectivity is. Oh, there you are. Hey, what? What happened? Oh, there you go. Now we're getting there. Uh, I think I need to reload the I game. I will reload your screens. Better? Uh, not yet. Not yet, huh? No, it hasn't. Still hasn't like stopped being that screen on mine yet. Uh, stop sharing, and then start sharing again. There we the go. Internet connection <laughs> problem. Oh no, now it's better. No. Oh, share screen. Oh, that's this one. That's the. Now it's gone. Now it's gone. Yeah. You got it now. Got it now. Bueller. You in the chat? 
No. What's up? Internet connection problem. Okay, now I'm now I'm I think I got you. You got, my, sc you got my screen? I'm moving my mouse. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yes? Uh yes, alright, we're good. Alright. Yeah. Fantastic. Let's join in another queue. More mid range! More mid range! Yes, yes. And we win the <laughs> roll! Again! We're so good! We're so good at magic. <laughs> oh, this hand's like the nut. Yeah, I'll take this hand. No. I mean, it's not the nut, but everything we draw, we're going to be able to cast. So, I like this hand. Do you not like this hand so much? You can't hear me. You're frozen. Ah, ha, ha. All right. We have all the guys. Oh, what is this? Tragic slip, my guy. Oh, sad panda. Oh, boar. Well, I guess we go pilgrim, foundry. And we can go pig next turn. Seems fine. Um, you know, Rudy, for somebody who talks about crushing on stream all the time, we lost a lot when we were playing your decks. So you should probably be aware of that. All right, that's a voice of resurgence. I guess I'll just... Play this pig. Play this pig. Give it haste. Play this rootbound crag. And then get in with the beats beats. Alright. Let's try this again. We will try the calling... Internet connection problem between the two of you. Well, I guess... Like, rebooting Skype is a possibility. Oh, ready, ready, ready. This has got to be Junk Aristocrats, right? Yeah, lingering souls for all your days. Sure. One, two, three, four. Yep. Well, I guess there's this. For days. Kill your shit. Beat your face. Bash, bash! All the things. Sure, your blocks. Yep. Skype crashed on you. Dragon your face. Thunderball. Sure, more souls. I like it. Sure, you got it. Answer. Yep, I answered. Are you back? I'm back. Oh, you're back. All right, share, All right, your, share your video, because we're about to, like, bash some fools. Oh, yeah. Uh, that. Uh, okay. Oh, it's dark, though, because I had to move to a different place. Oh. So this is part of my kitchen. It's very dark, but you can see the shining in my eyeballs. <laughs> yes, you Sorry. can. Well, I guess we win. Thunderma, Thunderma <laughs> is pretty good. As it turns out, okay. All right. I guess it's a fine way for me to come back. Well, you know, just the deck's pretty good. So now we get to play against Junk Aristocrats. 
Okay. So let's cool. see sort of what we've got here. So we like bonfires against junk aristocrats, yes. right? We're and rest in peace. we like rest in peace against junk okay. aristocrats. And what else do we not like? So here's one where I don't, I don't know if unflinching courage is right this time, um, because they have better removal. Yeah. So they have like petrifies and abrupt decays. Mm -hmm. Um. So I actually think it's better to bring in an oblivion ring for barrels than it is to bring in any unflinching courages. Okay. Maybe maybe one on maybe one or two unflinching courages maybe, but I don't I don't really like it. So I'm cutting Celestial Charm. Uh, I don't I don't think that's right either. Why? Because we still need the trample, right? Right, which we have with like four Gorkman Rampagers and Bonfire to kill all of his shit, right? Like all of his and Thunder Maws, Like, is that not enough? Um. Well, I mean, we saw how good Celestial Charm was against the Red Aristocrats. I think it's going to be just as good here. Okay. Our voice is bad. Is voice is bad in this matchup. Our voices are not nearly as good as his. I know that. They're not bad, but they're not as good as his. Also, we're bringing in our rest in pieces, so taking out voices. Oh is... yeah, no. Duh, duh, blah. Yes. Okay. Fine. Super. Card. <laughs> um, we have a lot of non-creature spells. We're gonna cut a Domri raid. I think we can cut a Domri. That's fine. That brings us to sixty, and we get to keep our Avengers. Pretty dirty. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, I like this. Yes. Okay. No, I can't believe I already need you to reload the video. Dang it. <laughs> Your internet. Why is my internet sucking so bad? <laughs> so terrible. Uh, Jeremy, I am so dark because uh, I had to switch rooms. Hang on. Let me try to turn the light on and see if it gets any better. Eh. Okay. Oh, so here, we here we have uh, Temple Garden Stomping Ground. Selesnya Charm... Smiter, like, we gotta keep this hand. Okay. Alright, there we go, kids. That's a little better. I'm back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this hand's pretty good. Alright, so we're not gonna ball this hand. We're on the draw also, so... Yeah, this hand's good. Yeah. We play the... We make sure to play the mountain first. Yes. <laughs> For the pig. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know, I know, Nad's that right. <laughs> there are no dragons in this hand. How is this even keepable? <laughs> yeah, he's like, I put, he's like, this guy, our opponent apparently lost to this deck exact deck Sunday at a premiere event, the exact way it just played out. He's like, I put slips in for this and then used it on your elf. Dumb. I'm like, probably not this exact list. He goes, well, kick my butt the same way either way. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Poor Gus. Well, this guy's cool. Oh, uh, Gus the Destroyer. Just means he doesn't he doesn't have to suffer through any is this goods. No. No. Yeah. We'll, tr we'll treat him well. <laughs> uh oh, young wolf. Arbor elf. Nope. Oh, arbor elf. Huh. huh. So is this the tokens deck? What did you what did you see out of him in game one? Um. I saw a bunch of lingering souls, and I saw. A voice of resurgence, uh huh, and a tragic slip. Okay, I think this this might actually be the junk tokens deck, as huh. opposed to aristocrats. That could also be exciting. Yeah, but but which means the bonfire bringing in was even better than we expected because <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have cartel aristocrats. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Well. What do you got? What do you got? Turn two barrels. Nope, lingering soul. It's also fine. Piggy, piggy. Yeah. We're going to play the meat this this game. And we got Boris Wreck on our next turn. The card's really good, too. Yeah, it's not the worst. <laughs> I don't hate it. I don't hate it. There are far <laughs> worse cards that have been created in this game. <laughs> Like Insight. You ever seen that card? It's so bad. <laughs> Insight is a much worse card than Flint of War. Portent. <laughs> uh oh, he took two. That's pretty good. What's next, Gus? Oh, this is Tristani. the token study. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what? Uh-oh. Worms? Worms for days? 
We are we are one hundred and ninety percent attacking into that Tristani <laughs> with Celestia Charm. By the way, <laughs> you jam uh, that pig in there. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you throw that pig in there and you hope to god that he blocks. <laughs> I didn't show him Rampager. I like that. <laughs> no, yeah, he's, he didn't yeah. do it. Yeah, he saw through our clever ruse. Our ruse. <laughs> so, you wanna, do you want, like, Garden Reckoner here? Uh, yeah, I think Garden Reckoner's right. Because he's not attacking with the Lingering Souls. I don't know why. You bluffed me. <laughs> oh, you called it. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, we will want to get the Reckoner down, um, since that's going to be our best way to get in a bunch of damage. Yeah. Also, this way, um, if we attack in next turn and he has Advent of the Worm, he'll block the Reckoner, or he might block the Reckoner, I guess. We can ramp, or we can Selesnya charm it, and then use the five damage to kill the Tristani. Oh, nice. So, hope, like, any way to kill the Tristani is the right way to play right now. Yeah. <laughs> that thing's, that thing's going to ranch us. <laughs> he's going to gain a lot of life, but he's throwing it all away, so maybe it's not that big a deal. What do we got this time? He needed five mana for this. Please, for the love of God, don't play opposite that right after you play Tristani. Okay, that, that's fine. <clears throat> cool. Thunder <Ma! laughs> I would I'd take it. <laughs> and he's flashing it back. He just he just doesn't care. No fucks just, given. Yeah. Well, I no mean, next turn soar and kill you. Like <laughs> seems pretty good too, uh, right? That's fair. He's yeah. That's that's just twelve in the air. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Ugh! All these smiters. No smiters. So uh, we actually have to set up for uh, Thundermaw next turn. So. I think we need to just go ahead and jam our guys in. Um, yeah, don't worry about playing anything yet. Let's go ahead and jam our guys in and see how he blocks. He probably won't block the Boros Reckoner. <clears throat> he probably chumps the pig. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Taking six is okay, too. Oh, yeah, we can't set up for the... Yeah, I forgot. We can't set up for the dragon anyway, because um, we don't have the extra land. So... Um, like, we have to draw land and dragon to play dragon next turn, so I think we actually might as well just keep up the pressure and put another smiter down. No bonfire. I'd appreciate a bonfire, I'll stop. God, that would have been a blowout, eh? Bonfire for <laughs> one? It would be pretty sweet. I'm, I'm still okay with it this turn, too. Unless, oh, he's probably got, he's probably got, uh... He's probably got... Oh, there's Township. Oh, yeah. All right. Two, four, yeah. six, eight, <laughs> ten, twelve. We're yeah. not dead. We're not dead. <laughs> so dead. We're not dead yet. <laughs> All right. Miracle Bonfire off the top for the win. Uh, that, would, that would still do it. Swing with Tristani too, huh? He blocked the arbor off. Uh, you just want to kill it. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No, we have... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. We're dead. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, This deck I'm not as scared of. This deck doesn't run removal. So, so I'm going to get rid of this Oblivion Ring. Yes. And mm -hmm. I think I can cut these Selesnya Charms now for Unflinching Courages, right? Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. And uh, do I need these Rest in Pieces now? Like, no, I, don't want I'm not worried about pieces. Blood Artists anymore, right? Uh, no. Cut the Rest in Pieces and bring in one Ray of Revelation. For what? Uh, for uh, uh, Intangible Virtue. Okay, so we have five cards to bring in. So you want... Like some non-number of voices now. Do you want Domri back in? I think we can take we can bring in the Courages, one Ray, and bring the Oblivion Ring back in. Yeah, that looks good. So now we have we have protection against uh, against Intangible Virtue and like random anything else with Oblivion Ring. Okay. <laughs> God, <laughs> so 
so frustrating! <laughs> yep. <laughs> Again! Wow. Okay. He just doesn't want us to play this time. I mean, we won on a mold of five last time, but... Ugh. Yeah, it's awful, but... <laughs> yep. Stomping grounds. Alright. Thunder, Thunder Maw snap keep. <laughs> I wish. I wish. Four land Thunder Maw. Yep. <laughs> Best five ever. <laughs> yeah. It would have been good. But that'll be fine. People are probably complaining at me on Twitter. Why? Uh, because I have a podcast that I. Oh, wow. There's a bonfire. That's pretty good. Yeah, we drew it. We, we drew it. So yeah. that's fine. I'm okay with that. You can play out all those little one ones and we'll just bonfire them. Yep. What are you leaking out about? Firefox? Holy crap. I'm all to land, land, boar, sword every single time. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst. Yeah. That's a pilgrim. Yep. Sure. You got it. I'm so suiting this guy up. Uh, yes, you are. <laughs> yep. Get in there. Get in there, Piggles. <laughs> and this, my friends, is what I like to call pig in a blanket. Go on, oh. pig. <laughs> <laughs> Build your own worm coil, bitch. Turn it. <laughs> <laughs> He goes, oh, how am I going to handle that? I guess I'll just play all these 1-1s. One -one. Bonfire! <laughs> this turned into a pretty good draw. Let's see if he instantly killed our guy. Just, no? He did not. Ugh. All right. So do we want a bonfire here? Or... No, we wait to get more value. <laughs> like... We have a we have a five five pig with trample and life. All right, so I'm gonna cast this pig. Yeah, you and then I'm the gonna haste him. In there. God, this unflinching courage is ridiculous. Yep, it's very very good. Trample is so good right now. Yeah. So good right now. Everyone just wants to chump all day. Yeah. Yeah. This deck yeah, is sweet. Like Fuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unflin see? see, Scotty? Three unflinching curves. Okay. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I understand. Armadillo Coke is pretty good back in the day. <laughs> Rudy, you going to tag it on Planeswalker Asylum? Have you ever even listened to that podcast? <laughs> it's not It's not regular. <laughs> Did he just take all? No, he jumped. Okay. No, he yeah. jumped a pig. Did he just take all that? No. He jumped a He's pig. He's ten. We got eight power worth of pigs. We have a mountain. Oh, it's only two two. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why did I think it was three three for some reason? God, that'd that be pretty good. Wow, yep. lingering souls. I guess you better flash that back, huh? Yep. <laughs> oh, we did. That's what. Guess he did. we're guess we're bonfire in this turn. <laughs> yeah, just, for just, two. Just rock it for two. Yeah. Just get it, get it out there, and he's oh he's dead. Yeah. If he doesn't have a removal spell, eight power worth of pigs kill you. Is this good? <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a pretty good mold of five. <laughs> <laughs> I guess right. When your card quality is as deep as armadillo cloak and bonfire against a token deck, like it seems yeah. fine. He's got he's something got, here. He's though. got the abrupt decay or the putrefy. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Yeah, it's, that's okay. Deal. So his four cards in hand are none. <laughs> he's at five, and we're at twenty-eight, <laughs> and we have five lands in play. So Thunder <laughs> Maw. <laughs> you know what that means. Trondor. Thunder Maw. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh, that's a township. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a good card. How's that township treating you? <laughs> Wee! Although I'd love to peel Wolf Run right now, that'd be hilarious. Yeah, that'd be that'd be real good. Tristani? What's he got? No, five mana. Five? Primal Hunter. 
That's sure. a big card. It's gonna make a beast. That's pretty good against us. Yeah, it's not the worst. We have a lot of live draws though. Yes, we. That's not one of them. One of them. Yeah. All right, fine. Maybe, maybe your planeswalker will finally make our multi five seem normal. Uh, I mean, I want to attack, but I can't. We're at twenty eight. Yeah. Yeah, you were probably dead. No, you can't attack. <laughs> you definitely can't attack. We can't. We can't afford to throw away this pig because we could draw on flinching courage next turn. Yeah. Yeah. Or wolf run. <laughs> or wolf run. But I'd rather draw on flinching courage so that our pig lives. Yeah. Uh, he didn't even draw cards. Doesn't need them. Doesn't even need the cards. Fuck. Miracle bonfire is very good. You are correct. Yep. I would very much like for that to happen. Yeah, two bonfires, four dragons, and a wolf run. A pilgrim is not the one. Although, see, here's what I'm talking about. Like, this pilgrim, not such a bad draw when you got a wolf run floating around in the deck. I mean, it's not a great draw, but it's not the worst thing ever. Uh, I was also, there's also one or two courages left. Two courages left, too. There's Top two deck, Fireman, Fireman Avenger is still in the deck. But the, the Courages don't do quite as much now because he's got Gaviny online. His guys are going to be 5-5s five when we attack. So. No, no, was... Oh, oh, that's much worse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Avenger is a pretty sweet draw at the moment. You boys are correct. It just needs haste. But I guess it kills Now him. he's going to draw cards. Sure. Gross. We are so dead. We are so dead. We have outs. There are few. Three? Yeah, two. it's game three. Ah, uh, lame. Just rumbling yeah. in with the team, huh? So I just got to uh, take all this, right? No, uh, because that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that, like, halves our life total. Uh, well, lose two creatures for one that he can just replace. God. Yeah, I could just, like, throw the pilgrim in front of a beast. No, and... like... No, wait wait one turn before we start jumping because we can draw a bonfire and just wipe his board. All right, so no blocks. No blocks. We'll take the 14. No pumps. Wow. What's he wow. casting here? I have no idea, but it probably shouldn't be. Whatever Armada is, Worm. Should... Guaranteed it's Armada Worm. What do you think? Uh... I drag guess, tusk. probably. Oh, drag tusk. Oh, yeah, drag tusk. Like, I, don't know. I guess he. I guess it leaves him a board after uh, bonfire. Come on, bonfire! One time. No, another no. land. Yeah. Fine. Do we have any more draws? I don't think we do, right? Uh, One, two, eight, dead. eight, eleven, twelve. 13. No, we've got another draw still. Yeah, we got one more draw step. All we're right. Dead to the chicken. <laughs> our outs are getting slower. Our outs are getting well. One, two, three. We basically one, two, just needed to draw Thundermall six. last turn so that we could kill him from five. I think we are dead. Like, yeah, that Thrag Tusk is obnoxious. Yeah, the Thrag Tusk put it away. The Thrag Tusk took away two of our outs of just winning the game on the spot. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't think Bonfire is even enough with Pilgrim. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Um, so do we kill a beast or chump chump? Six, seven, eight. Nine, I'm pretty sure it's seven, chump chump. Like, seven. like it doesn't it doesn't really matter, right? Like, we actually have to kill the thrag dust. We have to kill the thrag dust to try to have any shot of winning this game. Double block the thrag dust. All right. Four, eight. We'll take fourteen. Fourteen. And go to three. All right. Because he hasn't pumped yet. Must draw Thrag Tusk. Yep. Or oh, Bonfire. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we have to draw Bonfire, and we need him not to play He drag didn't tusk. even pump. Does, doesn't need it. No Still has so many plays. Fuck Still had all these plays. Don't even need to activate my spell land when I'm so far ahead on board and just want to conserve cards in hand. Wow. Don't even need two against your empty hand. 
It's gotta be Kyrakdos. It has to be. <laughs> yep, you passing? Oh no, he's in combat step. <laughs> yeah, trying to cast his rub and thrag tusk <laughs> 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 during damage. <laughs> Yep. 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 Bonfire still saves us? Saves us, but doesn't win. It doesn't win. <laughs> no, Arbor Elf definitely doesn't do it. <laughs> Bonk. Oh, we're, we're just dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, I plan on consuming. <laughs> no. Well, I don't hate our... Don't hate our <laughs> the Avenger! <laughs> that would have been real good since he was never using Gavany Township. Yeah. Since apparently his Gavany Township doesn't have any text on it. Man, our next four draw steps were nuts. Yeah, if they only were. they had been the four previous draw steps. If only. <laughs> yeah. No, so that's uh so that's where we're at so far with the deck. Um mm -hmm. I really like a lot of the sideboard. Uh, are you still getting yelled at to podcast or where are you at? Uh it's fine. I'm I'm down. We can keep playing. All right. I can I could miss a week if nothing else. I have one more game in me. Okay, cool. All right. So let's do that. Yeah. Now, one more game is not a standard two man. Okay. All right. Not a standard eight man. <laughs> and yeah, no. Probably not. No. I, since I can't, like, physically take over to play for you, probably not a good Hey. Call. <laughs> no, because you would have to go to bed. Like, you got to leave. I would keep playing because this deck is sweet. <laughs> <laughs> this deck is so much fun. The beats this just is... keep coming. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, Scotty. Anybody who follows me on Twitter, anybody who listens to my podcast, you know what I'm all about. And this deck is what my dreams are made of. <laughs> this does all the things. The only way to possibly make this deck sweeter is to add, like, a Johnny Vengeant, Lightning Bolt, and Lightning Helix. <laughs> well, this is the only possible way to make this deck better. I tried that with Fireman Avenger. Oh, yeah, that's right. I mean, Path to Exile, then. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a card. <laughs> Come on, play me in two bands. Let's go. <laughs> somebody, somebody. So yeah, so the one game, one thing we haven't fought again. Ooh, here we go. Yeah. And we yes. win another die roll. We won every dice roll. <laughs> and we win another hand of mulligan. Oh my God, Scotty, you're so bad. You're so bad at, at hands. <laughs> well, I yeah. guess we have to keep this one. Yeah, this one's good. A little slow, but that's okay. Uh, Sacred Foundry first, so we can go Sacred Foundry, Rootbound Crag? Yes. Alright, let's see what we got. Yep. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that wasn't a voice of resurgence. Nah, you, no, nah, stomping ground. Yeah. Yep. Eep. Lame, slow. But the Loxodon Smiter's not going to get countered. That's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Now, what's interesting is this may be the uh, Cyclops deck. The Cyclops deck, he says. I'm telling you. Like it's a regular thing. I'm telling you. <laughs> Travis Wu. <laughs> oh, God. There's that name. <laughs> I'm just saying. I've seen it. I've been playing it all weekend. Against it. Against it. No, oh, okay. So we're okay. Yeah, this is what it is. I'm telling oh, you. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. So we just got to get oh, we're there. Just, we're just putting as much damage on the table as fast as we can. Uh, so I'm actually going to just play another Smiter and save the two. Yes. Yes. This is a good play. Because he's obviously not blocking with gutter no, snipe. No, he's not. This is where my pillars did a lot of work, by the way. Just saying. Sure. Cast the Smiter. Yeah. Tap that Thoctar mana. The turn. Tap Thoctar mana for that Smiter. So good. All right. Hey, yes, Tyler, this is a match where we would love to have Rurikthar. <laughs> Rurikthar is sweet. Uh, uh, MR English, I don't know if Travel Zoo is overrated. He's just in a different demographic, man. Like, he just makes fun decks, and that's cool. Like, he's not trying to make competitive decks. He just makes stuff that people want to goof around with. Faithless looting, two to our face. It begins. Yep. This is a combination of Nivik Cyclops and Gutter Snipe to try to win. Sure. I and it. Artful Dodge. Yeah. Artful Dodge. Oh, God. Yeah. That's the one I didn't know about. Yep. 
And it does play removal, okay. you see? Spear, pillar. Yeah. Snapcasters yeah. also. Thing, uh, so, like, we're at 12 thing, already. Yeah, yeah, sure. But, uh, you know, he's, 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 pretty, he's pretty up against it. So, if he doesn't block with the gutter snipe, then we just play the rampager. Sure. Just play four fours actually every turn. He takes eight and goes to eight. He's dead if he can't just kill us. Who's the tunes? Who's this? Young the Giant. Okay. But I love the song too. <laughs> I, I haven't heard it before. It's, it's, it sounds pretty good though. Don't kill us. Artful Dodge. Oh, we're probably dead. Probably dead. <laughs> well, he can flashback it once. It's a sorcery though. Yeah. He's got to be dead. He has to be killing us. Like pillar, pillar. Yeah. Boros charm. Yep. Oh, Boros. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that happens. Unflinching courage. Hello. Um, do we bring in the rest in pieces in this match? Are they that important? So, like, voices are good. Voices charms are good. charms are only good if we are um, killing the Cyclops. Sure. And I don't... I don't, I don't really like the charms here. I don't think they're good enough. Because, um, like, Dom Reese, Dom Reese kill the kill the walls. Yeah, like, they do. I'm not concerned about that. Uh, yeah, like, I don't know. Do we really, do we need the rest in pieces? Or is, is their graveyard that important to them? Probably not. Like, if we're going to bring in anything else, I think it's like an Oblivion Ring to knock out, to like randomly kill a Gutter Snipe or something. Sure. And I'll cut a Thunder Mod just because it's like curve. really high on the curve. Yeah, sure. I'm down. I like it. So, Tyler, why do you want to leave in the Selesny Charms? Like, okay, oh! they play Thought, like, they play Thought Scour, but, like, what a, the only flashback spell that I saw was, uh, was Doc. Jason I, says, Graveyard's, so, Graveyard is important, and Bonfires should probably come in. Because, like, the only way they kill us is with those stupid guys. Okay. So, sure. I actually think we bring these in. And if we're bringing these in, then we should probably cut some of these. And we can cut one of these and cut, put three of these in. And then cut these other two voices. I, I don't I don't like cutting voices. I think I'd, honestly, I'd actually rather cut Thunder Maws than voices. Because voice makes it so we can't, like, kill our guys with unflinching courage on the stack or whatever. Like, I think we can cut all of the Thunder Maw help guys. We can just get him out of here, like because like their dudes, their dudes are just gonna die to ours. So how's this? And we can't cut Domri Rudy. Domri kills all of his creatures. Yeah, Actually, yeah, all of them. Yeah, Domri's, Domri's our good. best removal spell. So how's that? Thunder Maw's, Thunder Maw's good. Uh, I like it. I think this is square. Okay. And we get an actual keepable hand with the nuts. I love it. Awesome. Well, yeah, not mulling really his hand. Yeah, his hand's very good. Holy crap. Yeah. I don't <laughs> think Even though it's got double rest in peace. This is this is a mulligan to six, but it's a really, really good mulligan. Really to good six. mulligan to six. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Domri kills one force. All of our creatures have four power. All of them. Or they're reckoners. So they deal three and then they deal one back and then we throw the trigger at the wall. Like the the Domries are our best removal spell. Hands down. <laughs> Yeah, voice doesn't kill it, but that's fine. Because we could, well, we could actually make Domri fight something and then get like a 5 5 token, which is also good. Oh. Uh oh. oh. Alright, so we're gonna jam the smiter. Yeah, for sure.
and I literally don't care about his graveyard until he casts uh, Gutter Snipe. Yeah. Or um, or Nivik Cyclops. Face Shield. Okay. Boros Charm. Yep. Oh, like the hits just keep coming. <laughs> so uh, I'm... You, you just run Fire Main Avenger out. Yeah. We actually get to see the raw power. You're gonna, you're gonna see how quickly this closes games. It's <laughs> yeah. fucking stupid. <laughs> he's he's probably gonna a searing spear the shit out of it. Let's let's be completely honest. Sure. I think he's gonna bite a searing spear real fast. But uh, that means he's got to waste his turn playing searing spear. He's discarded one already. Spear. Yeah. Like we didn't show him any three threes. They were all X fours, except for Boris yeah. Reckoner, and he doesn't want to fucking. Yeah, it's a Boris Reckoner. Sure. This is fine. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to trade, um, but that's okay. So we're we are we're we can rest in peace this turn because we have the mana. Um, but uh, that means that we can play, or no, we don't have to worry about giving anything trample because we're just gonna kill the Boros Reckoner. Do we kill the Boros Reckoner with the trigger? I don't think so. We probably do, right? No. We can just. Uh, yeah, like he's gonna knock down the fire main avenger, but that's fine because then we're not taking damage. Yeah, go ahead and play the wolf run and then attack and see what he does. I yeah. Guess. Like I think I just want a three to his face, to be perfectly honest. Okay, sure. Because then he like. Uh, I don't think you attack with Arbor Elf because it's an extra I point have of damage to. on something. Give it trample. I have to if you want to oh, use. Oh, duh, yeah, yeah, duh, 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 duh. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, upstairs. To the face. Yeah. And he has to kill a fireman. Yeah. Which doesn't kill the locks on smiter. No. Yeah. It's fine. It's a fine series of plays. So he's, oh, wow. he's killing the smiter. Okay, sure. We could really use a pig off the top. I know, that'd be pretty sick, huh? Alright, I'll just play this. Yeah. Uh, is, is this good? <laughs> Not the worst. Not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, there it goes. So now we gotta draw some action. He doesn't necessarily have to have Spear there. I mean... He can, but the angel is just a 3-3 flyer at this point, right? Unless we draw a haste creature. Yeah. All right. One dragon, please. Yeah. <laughs> please! But here, here's, here's Kessa Gulfrun. Yeah. Going off its power at our bill. I was just thinking that, too. Smiter's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Bash one. Get in there. Yep. Serving it up hot. Um, do we get in for one? I don't think it matters. It's I think better. we just let the trade happen. We just let the trade happen and play the smiter. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, now that I know that they have Snapcasters too, yeah, rest in peace is definitely correct. Definitely right. New follow up play? Yeah. Cool. Get some. Get served. They play Psychonic Rift. I don't think what you would have here. We can't kill him, so you just pour him. Play Reckoner. Yeah. Yeah. Acceptable. Yeah, that's pretty good for a mold of six. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that was like the nut hand. So Fireman took three, like gave us three back, dealt him yeah. six. Yeah. Yeah. 
Like it dealt him six and gained us six life and made him discard a card. Like yeah, yeah that was that was pretty good. Yeah, not gonna lie. All right, so we like it. We'll try to run it again. Yeah. Yeah, but like I think about games where would that have been any better as a restoration angel? Like no. Would it have been any better no. as a hunt master? Like probably not either. You know, like hunt master's probably fine against aggro and but I just feel like you need a better quality card and she's very good. Yeah, the the hunt master is actually a lot worse in this in this particular scenario. Hunt master is a lot worse because he's got pillar of flames like in the main. Yeah. Yes, Rudy, it would have been very good as a Sublime. Actually, it would have been okay. It wouldn't have been that good. He had a blocker, right? Like, he had the he had the Reckoner for our Smiter that turn. So, it would have been okay as Sublime, but the Sublime just gets shot down after it blocks after he blocks the Smiter. This is a good hand. Here we go. Here we Ooh, go. That is a good hand. A little, a little All spicy. Right. I would not mulligan to six. Nope. No, sir. It's actually quite good. Yeah, and then we if we had done that, we would have missed out on any damage the turn before. He would have just stonewalled us. Like, I don't really like that trade. Especially if he's got a Searing Spear. Because she's a 4-3. It just dies. Yeah. Thing is, like, I... So all of our guys are mostly very good. And we're very often just trying to swing away with them, I think. And so not being able... Oh, God, look at this. Just... Look at this. Oh, oh boy. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Jesus. <laughs> I like it. I like it. This hand's shaping up, Scotty. This hand is shaping up. <laughs> Here's the Cyclops. I'm fine with it. Yeah. yeah. O-ring bash? Um, It's either that or courage bash. Like, cause like he could untap and kill us here if he's got the right draw. Oh really? Okay, yeah. yeah then O ring bash. Sure. Yeah. So I if, just wanna... if that's the case, then yeah. Sure. Yeah. Like this is one of those cards that just. Uh, Jeremy, no, Sigarda is not anywhere in this list. Uh, she's a control killer. She's a Jund killer, and we have a card in Assemble the Legion that just does that better. Um, because it does it against more against more things. Um, so like. Mm -hmm. Um. So what do you want here? Like I could just jam Pilgrim. I voice. Think it, I think it's best as Pilgrim voice here. Um. So that we have blockers, and we can unflinching courage with blockers next turn. Yeah. Should I attack? No, because he's just going to uh, block no. and do yeah, nothing. Yeah, he's yeah, a 1-4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was looking for the trade, but if he's just a 1-4, yeah. then it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, it scares me. This is this is actually a deck that people are playing online. Yeah. So, here. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. We didn't need blockers. What was I thinking? We didn't want blockers because he just has Artful Dodge. Uh-oh. Okay. Are we not dead? No, we're not dead. For? Just okay, thank God. Sweet deal. <laughs> okay. Acceptable. Yes, please tap out. Boris Reckoner. Ugh, that's not what I wanted you to tap out for. No. Less than optimal. Although we uh, can go... Let's see. Um. Like, we need to get Unflinching Courage down. Absolutely. I think we just... I think we have to jam on Flinching Courage on a Voice Resurgence and just make him trade the Boros Reckoner for the Voice and the Unflinching Courage. It sucks, but uh, since we, I think we should have played the Smiter last turn. Mm -hmm. um, but we can, yeah, I think this is okay because we can play another Voice after this. Just bash with the voice? Um, I think you want to attack with both, right? So that we get a bigger voice if he just wants uh, to block. Although I should have cast the voice first, because now if he uses it to kill the pilgrim, he blows us out. I don't think he um, will, but we'll see. It, I think it's fine. Oh, fuck! I just clicked through attackers. <laughs> yeah, awesome! That didn't work, too. Well, at least play the voice. <laughs> 
Awesome. Moto. Moto. Dio, yeah, we're playing against the uh, the Travis Wu Brew here. This is bad if he's got Mizzy Mortars for that voice resurgence. <laughs> <laughs> I very much don't want that to happen. No. Nope. Is it charm? Draw two, discard two. Sure. Flashback okay. loot. Flashback dodge. Yep. Yep. Uh, yes, <laughs> Jason, that is most definitely a punt. <laughs> We needed that for a life pretty bad. Yep. Are we dead, Mr. Crazy Cards Man? He's only got one card in hand and two mana. He's got two Is It Charms and two lands in the graveyard. Yeah, but he obviously drew a spell. Yeah. Searing Spear. Spear. Targeting us. And we have to block Boros Reckoner, but we can block with the voice. Yeah. That has the uh, courage on it. Courage, so. Yep. Man, ah, oh, man, we totally bricked that. We played that real, real bad. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually should have suicided our voices. Um, at least one, or probably both. We should have suicided the voices so that we could have put the unflinching courage on the token. That was bad. Bunk. Okay. Uh, so he has no cards in the end. No. Nope. We're going to gain four, possibly take three. Like, we have to attack with the voice resurgence. Like, it's just an actual must. All of them. Yeah. Yep. Just bash. Yep. Get up and ride. Yeah, then when your courage was a little hasty, that's fine. Okay, gain four, go to five, uh, take two, or he kills a voice. So we just take two, we go to three. He can draw a Searing Spear and kill us. Any spell kills us, though, it doesn't matter. We have a 4-4 four, four elemental now, which doesn't matter because we can't attack into the Reckoner. Same way with the Smiter, unless we get something to give a Trample. We can still block it with the Pilgrim, though, if it attacks us. Yes, yes we are. No spell, one time. Ah. He already used his artful dodge. He doesn't have anything. In the no, he's got yard. nothing in the yard. There's, there's uh, a. I get a brick. I think it's a brick. Two is a charms, Can two lands, a and a searing time. spear. Wow. Yeah, this unflinching should be on that 5-5 five, five token, mm -hmm. <laughs> and our, our, we would be having a much better day. We block with a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> like, nothing else for it. <laughs> Pillar flame you? No! I mean, it's fine. Like, we're dead to that anyway. Yeah, like, yeah. We're dead. We can't, we can't not block the Smiter, or the, the Reckoner. Yeah, he's got nothing. What's he holding? Domri? 12? Domri fight Mimic Cyclops You're with a dead. life linker. You're dead. What? What? You're dead. <laughs> All right, let's 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 see what he's got. Let's see what he's got here. <laughs> no counter spell? No. Nope. nope. I would like to make my voice a resurgence fight the Nivix Cyclops, please. <laughs> yes! <Nope. laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Dummy raid for the win! That was the coolest way to win a game. I ever <laughs> oh my Ooh. god. My hero, Dummy, you're my homeboy. Woo! That was awesome. That was, that was awesome. That was like the best way we could possibly end the night. I